Hey everybody, well, it's time for my video again, and today we're going to do a short video, but hopefully uh, it's going to be fun, right? We're going to be talking about deformers, and today we're going to jiggle. Here we go. Okay, everybody, so we're in my 2019, and we're going to be talking about a deformer today. Uh, it's going to be a fairly short video, but hopefully a fun one. And we're going to be talking about the Jiggle Deformer. I realized that I never did that. Uh, I got a question about it, so we're going to cover it. Not really a lot to it, but uh, it's uh, kind of fun. What it basically does is it reinforces movement that you apply to an object in a way that it looks a little bit like a blob, right? So I'll show you what I mean. So let's take a simple torus and we'll go in here and hit control A and open up the attribute editor and let's go in here and let's give this, let's say 40 by 40 subdivisions so we got something to play with, right? All right. Okay, so now that we have this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure it's sitting on our grid. Hit W, move that up like so, all right? And we're simply going to go up to the animation tab, top left corner. Then we're going to go with this selected to our deform. And we're going to go to jiggle and we're going to click on jiggle deformer. Now you would expect all sorts of fun stuff when you hit play on your frame here on your animation slider. But the thing is we don't have an animation. So if you hit play, nothing's going on whatsoever. Now, like I said, a jiggle is a reinforcement of a movement. So we need to put in a little animation here to move our torus to see the effect of the jiggle, okay? So we're gonna select this guy, run frame one, and hit S to keyframe that. And then I'm gonna scrub to let's say frame 20. Let's uh, push that up a little bit. Let's hit E, rotate it a little, and rotate it in this direction. And then we're gonna hit S again. We're gonna scrub forward to let's say frame 40. We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move it over here. Hit E to rotate it some more in the other direction and so forth. And uh, maybe like this. Hit S to keyframe again. And then we'll move to let's say frame 60. And in frame 60, we're gonna go in here and try to get it back somewhat in position like this and then move it over here. It doesn't really that matter that much as long as you got something going on, right? Okay, and keyframe that again. Let's set this to frame 60 right here. There we go, and let's hit play and see what we got. Okay. Okay guys, well, it's time for a little sponsor break here. And with that, I can make any of these videos for you guys, so show them some love, right? And you actually might love this one. So if you need 3D models for a lifelike visualization that you're working on, you might want to check out Render People. They offer 3D posed, 3D rigged, and even 3D animated people models, right? And they have over 3,000 products right now. They cover uh, models suitable for business, shopping, sports, swimwear, evening wear, outdoor, and even specialty models like doctors, workers, and whatnot, right? So uh, they're high resolution, 8K maps, clean UVs, clean meshes, ready to go in 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, SketchUp, Unreal Engine 4, Unity, Blender, and Rhino. Now, if you guys use the link below, you'll not only help out my channel at no extra cost to you, but you'll also get free models, totally free models that are posed, rigged, and animated. You see it's starting to act weird. That's exactly what we want, right? That's our jiggle. Okay, now, um, if this is playing really fast, by the way, bottom right corner, you have this uh, setting here, a playback speed. If you set this to play every frame, look what happens. Uh, I'll hit play. It's going to go very fast, right? So go back in there, go in to 20 frames, 24 frames. There you go. Hit save and hit play. You can see that uh, jiggle going on. Now, uh, this is typically used for something like a uh, the belly of Santa when he's jumping up and down, or maybe if you're uh, animating an organic shape like an animal, maybe a hippo or something, or uh, any heavy animal where you want to have that effect, right? Now, uh, because we created this, we have this jiggle uh, tab in our attribute editor, right? Now, of course, you have the uh, enable, disable, and uh, you can have it when an object stops. That's very cool. 
So you can have an object move and then only deform when it stops. Now there's not really a stop right here because we have continuous movement, but that's what you can do, right? Okay, then the stiffness, that's kind of neat. So as I move this to the left, it's starting to deform more and more. This is kind of funny, right? And as I move it to the right, obviously less and less, okay? All right, what else? Damping, now that's kind of cool. And hopefully we can see that. You see that doesn't really deform as much. It's more vibrating, if you will. As I move it, you see that we get a lot more ripples. Okay, then what else? The jiggle weight. So basically, we're moving an object. As I move it to the left, almost everything's gone. We're going to add a lot of weight to it. And as I do so, you'll see that the effect will become much, much stronger even to the point that it will completely collapse. There you go, right? So force along normal, we're not gonna touch that. Force on tangent, not gonna touch that either. You have a motion multiplier. So let's see, we do two and you see a lot more is going on. Let's do five and that's how you can impact that, right? Okay, and then direction bias. Uh, like I said, the jiggle movement is a movement reinforced by an animation. So uh, if a person is jumping up and down and you want it to jiggle downward, then you can have a control on the bias of where the direction is going, right? So that's basically all there's to it. So just uh, play around with that. Uh, yet another little thing in your toolbox that you can play with as a um, Maya expert, uh, because that's what you are, right? And uh, have fun with that, right? Okay, so thank you so much for watching as always and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.